another video so uh pierre polyev was recently at the calgary stampede and uh he was uh, having a little bit of fun i guess poking fun at justin trudeau so let's have a look at this video and we'll talk about it after like usual it's a post but from the pleb by the way too who i'm sure for all the liberals watching is a far right extremist keep crying me a river because he might be gone be gone before i arrive there's talk of him heading the road real soon hey eh? you hear about that by-election in toronto <laughs> People in Toronto voted because he's not worth the cost. They wanted common sense conservatives instead. And ever since, Justin Trudeau has been in panic mode. He's not here at the stampede, is he? Nobody's seen him around. Is anybody missing him? But don't feel offended, Calgary, that... Justin Trudeau is hiding from you. He's actually hiding from his own caucus. Terrified to meet with the people who are supposed to be his greatest supporters. Soon, you can imagine a caucus meeting of the NDP liberals in a phone booth with just Jag and Justin. <laughs> oh my goodness. Justin's in a lot of trouble now, eh? As the manufacturer said, the problem with socialism is eventually you run out of other people's money. Because he might... Yeah, that's a great point at the end he made specifically where, you know, if you're a socialist, you run out of people's money. Yeah, and that's true. It's also true that liberal is, or that Justin Trudeau is hiding from his liberal caucus. There's even another uh, MP who came out just in the last few days saying, hey, he needs to talk to us or he needs to resign. We have a, an emergency here with the Liberal Party, and we're getting trashed because we just lost a Liberal super stronghold in Toronto-St. Paul. I know it's only one by-election. That being said, they're clearly worried, and they clearly want some change or at least some sort of a plan. And Justin Trudeau's like, oh, no, I, I got to go to a NATO summit and you know plan the next proxy war to make a, the a mil a military-industrial complex of the United States even more wealthy because that's really who he cares about. He just wants to fund wars. He wants to spend all the money and to give money away to other countries instead of using it to help people here in Canada. It's very interesting. Very interesting how he comes out and says, hey, you know, I'm here for you and I want the best for Canada and for Canadians, but yet the way he, the way he spends his money would show otherwise. And now he's in hiding from the stampede, which he shows up every other year, by the way, except for during the COVID years. Why didn't he show up this time? Why is he hiding from the people? Why is he hiding from his liberal caucus? And then you have Pierre Polyev who just takes advantage of it and puts his throat or puts his foot on Justin Trudeau's neck even more, steps on it a little bit harder this time. There's a, a massive, massive change coming and the liberal party is going to be on the wrong end of it. And they deserve to be. So why is Justin Trudeau hiding from the people? Why is he hiding from his own caucus? Why is he ignoring these MPs who are crying out, asking for him to at least meet with them? But he won't. He won't even talk to his own MPs. What a great leader, right? Anyway, let me know what you think. You guys think it's just kind of funny just to continue to see Pierre Polyev just give it to Trudeau. And it's so well-deserved. And now you see all these liberal bots on X. Every time Trudeau or Biden screws up, it's just like... It's like a million people just pop out of nowhere. Biden's great and Trudeau's great and everyone who I disagree with is an extremist. It's hilarious. And you can keep going. The only people who believe that shit are people who are already on the far left. And if you want to pretend that you're not on the far left while using liberal far left liberal talking points, you can go right ahead. But again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Why do you think Trudeau is hiding from his own MPs? You think it's because he doesn't really give a shit about them? Or is it that he... It's like, hey, well, I want to hear what you guys have to say, but it doesn't matter what you guys have to say because I'm staying in charge and there's nothing they can do about it. But I always appreciate you guys commenting. I always enjoy reading them. I try to respond as quickly as possible. So definitely uh, let your voice be heard and your opinions in the comment section. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be back with another video shortly.